Have you ever opened a docx file that looks completely different on a different computer? Why is that? In this video, we're going to answer why do docx documents, or in fact, all of the Office documents look different across the devices, platforms. Hi, my name is Andre, and I'm a head of product at PDFtron. Let's jump in. Now, let's just talk about the specific format. Office is a great format for document creation. However, it's not so good for viewing or sharing or collaboration with others. Now, a format that can help us solve that is PDF. And let's take a look a little bit more in depth about those specific formats to understand why the documents do look different between the different platforms. PDF is, was always meant for viewing, sharing, archival, review, and collaboration. PDF is a fixed format. So what I mean by the fixed format that all the different elements are in a specific or specified coordinate system location. Now, all the different elements are also tied to a specific page. Now, that makes the performance or user experience when opening a document much, much better. So for example, if we'll have a really large PDF consisting of 3000 pages and we wanna quickly jump to the page 500, we can actually just download the, that page directly without having to worry about other first 499 pages. Now, when it comes to docx or office format or word document, however you like to call it, it is completely refillable. And the structure that they keep it in is XML. And the XML just storing the order of elements, not specifically tied to a page. Now, for example, if we have the same 3000 page document in a docx format, what's gonna happen if we're trying to jump to the page 500, I have to go through and reflow or lay out the different objects and elements that are before me in order to ensure that we get the correct page number that we're trying to access. And if on the same document, on a PDF, I jump to the page 500, jumping to the same page in a docx document may result in a different position or different content being there altogether. And that comes down to fonts. In a PDF, fonts are stored within the file itself. So all the different characters that we use, we store the characters and the glyphs, as well as the height of them, the positioning and the coordinate really tied to the page. Now in docx, and this is where the biggest difference comes in, the fonts are not embedded. So for example, if I create a document with a font called Californian, it's a serif font, and then I send it out to other people to share and collaborate with, they might not have this specific font on the system. So what it will do to say, well, it's a serif font, so I'm gonna substitute it with a different font, like Times New Roman. Now in that sense, the Times New Roman and Californian are actually off by 14 points. And what's gonna happen is that it's gonna push the content that is stored inside of the document to different pages, now creating inconsistent stories between the two different versions of the document. Now, two different people seeing different content can sometimes result in dire consequences. For example, you know, you're know you applying somewhere for a job, you send out a docx resume, never do that by the way, and then you know the resume is gonna look differently or possibly there's gonna be run-ins of different content on top of each other, especially if you're trying to put all your work history in the table. Now let's think of it as from the contract perspective. Let's say we get a contract sent out to us in a docx asking us to review our initial certain section or a certain paragraph on page three. Now the paragraphs would be pushed down based on the font of ability uh, because the fonts are just not embedded inside of the docx document creating that different experience between the two different documents. Now, PDFtron is a software development kit. And as you probably know, to use a software development kit, it relies on good documentation to be there. Now, just like a software development kit, PDF and docx formats do have their own documentation. Now, PDF documentation is 950 pages long. And just for contrast, the office documentation is 8,800 pages. And still, even today, it's mostly incomplete. 
So someone implementing a solution on a different platform or a system could actually misinterpret or interpret slightly different, especially if it's not well documented and kind of try to take shortcuts or fill in their gaps on implementing their own docx rendering or editing on any platform. So as such, in any productivity software that you're going to be kind of sharing the docx file around, well, chances are that it's going to read and interpret the document differently. And fonts is just one of the culprits of the docx format that will create those inconsistencies. There's also other elements inside of the docx like floating content, fixed content, uh, positioning, animations, transitions, and the list goes on for how other people may interpret it and render it out on their machines. Now, how do we work around that? Well, as a user, if you want to share the file with others and want to ensure that the file is going to look exactly the way you intended to, just save it as a PDF or convert it to a PDF. Now, view that PDF and ensure that the conversion succeeded and conversion is accurate. Now, if you're building an application for users, for example, a productivity suite or review and a collaboration tool, your go-to path probably say, hey, okay, I will just go ahead and install MS Office directly on my server and then perform conversion there. Well, there's a couple drawbacks with that. Microsoft Office doesn't actually run on the Linux environments, which are the Linux machines are cheaper to run on AWS, Azure, or GCP. And also, even if you're okay with a Windows server, which is slightly more expensive, Microsoft Office licensing doesn't actually permit you to install Microsoft Office on a server to use it for conversion basis. Microsoft Office also kind of puts you down into a single queue for the conversion, so you cannot enjoy multi-threaded conversion and cannot scale as efficiently. And as such, creating a bad user experience for your users trying to just get work done and view files accurately. Now, what PDFtron SDK offers is that we offer conversion on any platform, so we can run on Windows, Linux, or even in the browser without need for servers, without any Microsoft Office dependencies. Now, we built our own conversion engine in-house to allow you to convert from Word to PDF and ensure that the document looks accurate. You can do so on any platform or system of your choice, even in the browser. We have also added recently PDF to Word functionality, as well as PDF to PowerPoint and PDF to Excel by partnering together with Solo Docs. What I'm gonna do, if you're an end user watching this, I'm gonna post some links in the description below where you can utilize and use that technology for free for your personal use. And if you're a developer or a systems integrator looking to build out the application, I'll link you to PDFtron documentation so you know how to get started. I hope that answers the question, why do DocX documents look so differently across so many different systems? If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like. Thanks so much for watching.